your mind's reaction is to another for you Here's the law, the love and attraction I'll show you what I can do G'day guys, Mike here from Karimia Cottage again just thought we'd take you on a bit of a trip today to uh, visit some of the wonderful plants we have here. Uh, this one in particular today is uh, Moringa oleifera, or Moringa, or the drumstick tree, or the miracle tree. Okay, we're just wandering down to the Moringa now. Uh, the history dates back thousands of years with its uh, use deeply rooted in traditional medicine and cultural practices. Ancient civilizations recognized its medicinal properties employing it to treat various ailments ranging from digestive disorders to skin infections. Over time, Moringa gained prominence in Ayurvedic and traditional medicine systems. So Moringa is a really versatile and nutrient-rich plant with a rich history, diverse uses and numerous health benefits. Originating from the Himalayan region in the northwest India, Moringa um, had spread right across the tropical and subtropical regions of the world. One of the standout features of the Moringa is its exceptional nutrition profile. The leaves of the Moringa tree are a rich source of essential vitamins and minerals, including vitamin A, <coughs> vitamin C, calcium, potassium and iron. In some things it's said it's got more, more vitamin C than oranges and more potassium than bananas. And incorporating uh, Moringa into your diet can contribute to overall health. As you can see from our garden here at the moment where the Moringa going. So this is the Moringa tree. And we've got, when we pick it, we pick a little branch like that and we strip the leaves and then we dehydrate them and make a powder out of them. So we'll go, go on to that a little bit later on. But you can see here uh, in this landscape, it's really diverse. We've got Hicks and Mandarin, we've got lemongrass, we've got a navel orange tree, we've got um, arrowroot, uh, even cassava. And uh, just behind uh, where the camera is, there's a whole heap of dragon fruit with the flowers out already. So there is uh, no end to the diversity that we have in our garden and we try to incorporate that diversity everywhere. And that's why I think the uh, Moringas are doing so well here because they... When we harvest, we uh, chop it down and it's a really wonderful tree because it just grows back really quickly. And we harvest, say, every, um, every month or two to get the Moringa powder. Now, when you do harvest and you chop off large parts of a trunk, like this one here, You plant them in the ground and then they strike. So you can get more Moringa trees growing just straight from a cutting. In the summertime is when we get the most of our uh, harvest. So we've got to make hay while the sun shines. So um, in wintertime, the leaf growth uh, um, slows down and goes right back. And sometimes if it's uh, quite drought, um, or, or if we get a hell of a lot of rain, uh, the leaf growth will really, really slow. Now, beyond its nutritional value, Moringa really possesses potent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. So this plant's known to contain compounds like quercetin, uh, chlorogenic acid, and beta-carotene, which contribute to its ability to combat oxidative stress and inflammation in the body. Now, Moringa's versatility really extends to its various uses. The leaves, the flowers, the seeds, the roots uh, of the Moringa tree are really used for a whole heap of different reasons, you know, culinary, uh, medicinal, and industrial purposes. In the culinary applications, Moringa leaves are commonly used in salads, soups, and stir fries, and they provide a really nutritious boost to, uh, to meals. And the seeds yield a really valuable oil known, it's known for its stability and health benefits, while the roots are used in traditional medicine practices. In addition to its consumption, Moringa really plays a role in water pur purification too. The seeds contain natural coagulants that can help water clarify. Um, they act as a flocculant. Its adaptability to various climates and minimal resource requirements make it an attractive option for combating malnutrition, promoting food security, and particularly in developing regions. 
Okay, guys, thanks for coming on our little tour with us on uh, learning a little bit more about the Moringa side of things. And remember, just be uh, as self-reliant as you can, but you need community for sufficiency. Thanks very much. Bye.